was a sheer delight <laughs> in talking. Italians love talking as much as Indians do. <laughs> and like us Indians, they use their hands a lot when they talk. I think if you were to tie an Indian's hands together and an Italian's hands together, they'd be struck speechless. <laughs> they'd have for that. We would go and drink the wine of the region in small tavernas, frequented by the regulars, who went there every day and who knew each other. We would have our dinner, Jena, in small family-run eateries, where if there was a menu at all, it certainly wouldn't be in English. And wherever we went, whatever we did, we were never made to feel like outsiders. <laughs> we were made to feel as though we belonged. We were made to feel at home. Italy gave us this great gift, a home away from home, a secondary home. How could we help but falling in love with this lovely country? Since then, we have been back to Italy more times than either Bunny or I can remember or you know, enumerate. Of course, we've been back to the small places that we visited on our first stay there. And we've been to Milano, Milan, we've been to Bergamo, Torino, uh, to uh, Verona, Siena, Perugia, uh, Napoli, Naples. Lecce with its beautiful Baroque churches, uh, Palermo, uh, Modica, and some places which I think uh, lost track of. Now, each time we've gone over the years, instead of getting jaded, our love for Italy has become more intense. Now, what earthly use is it to have a grand love, a grand passion? If you can't tell everyone about it. And I've tried to do that through my writings, La Mia Scrittura, uh, in, in uh, newspapers here and abroad, in magazines, in travel anthologies. I've tried my best to describe my love for Italy and the beautiful country that it is. I have just one regret. And that regret is that in my own eyes, my best has not been good enough. My best has not been able to do justice to Barbella Italia. <laughs> I wish I had been a more eloquent lover. I wish I deserved. You deserved it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.